Welcome back, I'm Dr. Todd Lison of Lifestyle Integration. In the last video we were talking about the stress response and I, in looking back at the video, need to explain that just a little bit more. With the nervous system and how we react to stress, there are two components that need to be understood. In the autonomic, or the nervous system that functions without you being aware of, things like breathing, heart rate, body system functions. And the two components are sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. They're opposites. One is stimulatory, the other is relaxing. Now when the crocodile jumps out at you as a stressor, that activates the sympathetic nervous system. And the sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight response. And that's where your body will raise your blood pressure, send your blood sugar levels up, etc. The opposite aspect of that is the parasympathetics. They control the digestive system, the reproductive system, and a couple of other relaxing systems. Now in our modern day lifestyles, guess which one dominates? And it's the sympathetic nervous system. So for us to be well, we actually need to learn tools and techniques to calm our sympathetic nervous system down. Nutritional balancing when using a hair analysis is a fantastic way to logically and scientifically do this. If you're deficient in the sedative minerals, we can then set you on course with the right diet and supplements to bring you up in your sedative minerals. If you have too many of the stimulatory minerals or vitamins in your body, we can make sure that you're not adding to your problems by taking more stimulatory vitamins, which it's amazing what people do when they don't know what the right vitamins or minerals are for them. And we can set you on track with other things like learning how to relax or meditate, learning how to use the infrared saunas, which is deserving of another whole session at a future date. But the point I'm making is we need to learn more about the relaxing parasympathetics and when you use a hair analysis, there are ways that we can do that, and there are most definitely ways that we can fix this problem of chronic stress and the stress response. So until next time, keep well. I'm Dr. Todd Lazar.